Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. My name is Clayton James and today I wanted to make a video about home workouts. I am out here in beautiful sunny New Mexico and our governor has unfortunately shut the state down again so I can't go to the gym anymore but that's alright because I have some amazing calisthenic workouts that I want to share with you guys. They are quick, easy, grueling and incredibly effective. The workout that I wanted to talk about today requires only one thing, and that is a pull-up bar. You can get these at Walmart. I bought this at Walmart for like 25 bucks. Um, <clears throat> and the workout today that I'm going to share with you guys involves only three exercises. The first one being pull-ups, obviously. The second one is body weight squats, and the third is hanging leg lifts. Uh, or a variation of the hanging leg lift. So before we get into the workout, I wanted to talk about pull-ups for a second. I see people doing this, doing this at the gym all the time and I'm just like shouting in my head, no way, there's a better way. I obviously can't walk up and that'd be rude to just walk up and uh, tell somebody they're doing their workout wrong in the middle of their workout. But uh, what I see people often doing is when they're doing a pull up, they'll pull or a lat pull down, they'll pull to their chin here. And the, the point of the exercise is to pull to your chest. And uh, one thing that I learned that has really helped me better engage and perform this exercise is when I'm, when I'm hanging in the pull up position, uh, obviously want to keep my core engaged, keep my core rigid, but you want to keep your feet in front of you a little bit, in front of your torso, and then lean back, tilt your back. Um, at an angle just slightly so that way uh, when you perform the exercise it's you get more lat engagement and it's easier to it's easier to perform so when I do pull-ups I go all the way down and then explosively come up and then slowly come back down I fully extend uh, I try and do 10 reps in that in each set and after I finish those 10 reps I go immediately with no rest into 50 squats body weight squats and then immediately after those I will go into hanging leg lifts and hanging leg lifts are in my opinion one of the best ab exercises that you can perform hands down it is in fact so good that it is the only exercise that I do for my abs every day uh, it just it works incredibly well it engages your whole core and I haven't found anything yet that is more effective in training my abdominal area. So um, obviously I can't fully let my legs hang uh, because I'm, I have a pull-up bar in my house. So what I do is I hinge at the knees. Uh, you hinge at the knees and then you bring your feet out in front of you and then you straighten your leg and you hold for a second and then hinge your knees again and then <clears throat> hinge at the hips. And You'll notice when you're performing this exercise that your body will have a tendency to uh, create momentum and want to swing or rock you forwards or backwards and you want to try and avoid this at all possible. Uh, you don't want your body to swing at all. You want to stay as rigid as possible so keeping your core engaged, fully engaged the entire time that you're performing the exercise um, is what you need to do to be able to do that and it just wears my abs out. So after I get done with the ab exercise, I take a 30 second rest and then right back into two more sets. And I perform those three sets and the workout's done. It's quick and it's easy, but it is uh, incredibly exhausting for me. One of the things with my workouts that I try and do is increase my cardiovascular output. I love going hiking and camping and in-country backpacking. And so when I work out, I have in mind that I want to be able to to um, not get as tired out so quickly when I do go hiking or backpacking. Um, so that's that's my, my rhyme behind my reason for working out. Uh, there are two more things that I wanted to talk about in regards to working out. These are two things that I keep in my mind um, with every rep and every set that I perform. The first is the mind-muscle connection. So let's say for example I'm performing a bench press. I want to keep my mind, my awareness on the muscle group that is performing the exercise for through the entire range of motion. I want to keep my mind focused on that muscle group. It helps me engage that area uh, fuller and <clears throat> have a better workout and keep my form correct 
and have less, uh, less chance of injuring myself. The other thing that I always keep in mind is making sure that I have proper form and posture. Uh, so about a year ago I injured my shoulder and it took me about eight months to get back to where I was before that. And I got hurt because I was performing uh, a set of exercises and I was on like rep number eight out of ten and I had pushed myself to hypertrophy or muscle failure and I started cheating the exercise to complete the other two reps because I let my ego take over and it ended up hurting me. So um, I don't ever want to do that to myself again. So I try and, try and make sure that whenever I'm performing an exercise that I'm doing it correctly, making sure that my posture is correct, that my form is correct. And the purpose of working out is to push your muscles to hypertrophy. If you have a, a set a number of reps that you want to perform in a set in mind, like say, well, for example, for these pull-ups that we're doing in this workout, there's 10 of them. Um, doing these slow explosive pull-ups are hard to do, and you may not be able to get 10 of them the first time you do it, or the second time, or the third time, or whatever. I don't know what your workout level is, but um, I certainly, when I started doing these, I couldn't do 10 at once. So if you can only get five, or eight, or whatever your number is, before you push yourself to hypertrophy, that's awesome. Like that, that is you have accomplished the goal. You are trying to push yourself to muscle failure and you got there quicker. So pat yourself on the back. Don't get upset and let your ego take over because you didn't get all 10. And, and don't look at it like it's a failure. You are succeeding by pushing yourself to muscle failure. That is the most important thing. That is the purpose of working out. And whatever number gets you there quicker is awesome. Like that's, that's the whole point. So, um, Stay positive, stay focused, make sure that your form and posture is correct so you don't hurt yourself. And if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I am happy to reply. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for joining me. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share. Have a great day, guys.